Rob and Slim Show. Hey, it's comedian Jesse Huber. How you doing? Good. How you doing, on, Jesse? Hey, good to call in. Sorry I'm a little late. My uh, phone carrier was not getting a signal. They're doing really bad. I'll give you a hint. They rhyme with schmorizing, all right? I, I'm very upset with them. But it was it was bad, but I'm, I'm here now. How you guys doing? Not bad. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good. Actually, I just got off stage at the uh, Funny Stop Comedy Club uh, right now, and uh I was, and uh, Dick, it was a fun show. It was very excellent. I learned uh, a little bit of some interesting things, like why when you got a bachelor party in the audience, it's hard to compete against a dildo. Uh, very hard. Uh, Not just in an audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, 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 there was a dildo, and the person held it up like she was turning into He-Man. She was just like, I got the power! <laughs> How big was this dildo? It yeah. couldn't have been a and tiny one. I guess when one. she said... When she said she had the power, she turned it on and it vibrates. There really oh, was nice. power was on. Oh. I mean, oh my god! Did you whip yours out? M mine? No, I'm hung like a Q-tip. I can't do that. <laughs> 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 Dude, I, I'm trying to please. I'm trying to please the audience, not freak them out. But, uh... <laughs> oh man, <laughs> fuck! Is anybody still going? Like, is anyone on the show still performing? Or were you the last? Oh, they're still performing. Okay. They're still performing, yeah. I got off, and then I had to run out back trying to get a uh, get a connection um, with the uh, – get a connection. But, yeah, the Funny Stop, it's a great club. It's it's an excellent club. It's one of my favorite clubs to be working at. Uh, yeah, so I'm very excited to be here. Nice. <laughs> and I'm glad to be calling into you guys. <laughs> I was hoping you were glad to be out of there and calling into us. Like, fuck those bitches. And you're out in no, Ohio? Uh, yeah. Cleveland, well, I love, uh, Columbus, well, right? The thing is, you, you learn to have fun with the audience. When the audience gives you something to do, that you have fun with them. You you mm. figure things out. You, you, you At the end of the day, they're out. They're having a good time. They're going to do crazy things. You do crazy things back when everybody has put a smile on their face. I would have tried to grab that dildo. I was going to say, did you pull out your own dildo? <laughs> I wish I had one. I wish I would. I wouldn't know. What always size would I get? You I can always get one on adamandeve.com using discount code ROB. <laughs> That's what I named my well, dildo. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Mine's name Mike Jolis. That's the name of my butt plug. My my cock ring butt plug is named Mike Jolis. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm headlining Wiley's Comedy Club in Ohio in Dayton. Uh, you ever been there? Ooh. Yes, I have. It's a fun, fun club. Awesome. Yeah, I can't wait, you're... man. Oh yeah, no, no, you're gonna enjoy it. When are you gonna be down there? Uh, I'm gonna be down the sixth and seventh of October. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm gonna be, I, well, I'm gonna be at, believe it or not, I perform at comic book conventions as well. I'm a panelist, and I Sweet. only do stand up afterwards. Oh but shit, yeah, man! So, hey, it's good, to, it's good to hear another comic uh, performing on a stage. So good luck and knock them dead, man. Oh, You're thanks, gonna have dude. fun in that room. Thanks, Jesse. Yeah. Going back to comics, uh, did you hear? I, I heard Ben Affleck is not gonna be Batman anymore. No. What? Yeah. I really. I here's the thing. The rumor mill is spinning like crazy on that. Is it's that, spinning is it just like a rumor? crazy. I'm I'm convinced he is gonna stay Batman. Okay, because I heard I'm, I'm I haven't even I'm, seen him yet as Batman, but everybody says how great he is. He's uh, honestly he is probably the best Batman. Ever. That's what I've and heard. The reason why I say that because the reason why is because he is the only Batman to really take Bruce Wayne and Batman and make him into the same character, yeah. which is hard. It's a very duality. Thing that's to pull off. Like I'm not saying the other guys didn't do great. The other guys didn't. That's a Christian Bale. I applaud him. I mean, that was those are that was an awesome trilogy he pulled yeah. off. You know what I mean? Especially yeah, but no, Batman. Like he, he's just it's a different Batman. It's he's playing a much older Batman who's jaded. He's been Batman for 20 years. He's it's hurt him. It's miserable. Ah, he's almost at the like point where Batman. he doesn't yeah. want to be Batman anymore. I didn't enjoy and Batman the, versus Superman, but I like Batman. Yeah, 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 yeah. he did a good job. Yeah. Uh, I the the way you described uh, Batman is the same way I felt about uh. Tom Holland's uh, Spider-Man, like he's, I felt like was yeah. the first Spider-Man that I combined like, like Peter Parker and Spider-Man. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Really I don't good. know their names. That yeah, really that was Holland. Was really good. Holland did a fantastic job yeah, as uh, Peter Parker. I love that, that they didn't like, even tell the, the origin story. Too. Didn't yeah. waste any time with it. Over. It was about time. Yeah, we know who Spider-Man is. Let's get into it. Yes. 
And we got to see what he was like, you know, as a nerdy high school kid for a change. Instead of yeah. a thirty-something-year-old guy who's got to hide the fact that he's creeping in high school. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't fucking cry either. Every forty-five seconds. No. Like, oh. the wire. Every time he had his oh, mask on, just tears. I'm like, you I get it. You're emotional, worst. you fucking. <laughs> you jerk. Yeah, yeah exactly. I like. See, this is. I like high school Peter Parker because you know why? He's. Yeah. I know he's suffering from the same things as high schoolers. We all suffer. Yeah. yeah. We all Jungle suffered fever. at one point. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> Here's the one thing I know we all suffered at one point. You get called to the class while you've been sitting at your desk in the morning, and you have to do something at the board, but you're a boner. Yes! Oh, I yeah. can't do this. <laughs> like, you're going to have back pain. You're going to quasi-moto yeah. up to the board. Yeah. You're going to try reposition the donger. You're doing everything you, you gotta can. you got to tuck it into the waistband. Hey, you do See, the elbow thing. You do the up. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people do down. No, no, you do the up. You I think it. Down. I think it depends on the curve of your dick. Yeah, uh, maybe. Man. Everybody's dick is different. Yeah, this is actually, you don't learn until you start talking. Up down, okay. Yeah. I actually didn't suffer from that because my dick knew a lot of algebra questions that I didn't. <laughs> so I was good. I was always like, what do you got, buddy? <laughs> Did you ever rub this the dick in attain. front of you, her ass with your knee? Oh, shit. I like that. I like you, that girl's got an ass, so I'm going to rub it with my knee, and I'm going to get this boner. I got to go back to and school I'm gonna and I'm going to tuck it into my right? waistband. Yeah, because those... What are you, Mike Jolitz? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Mike Jolitz or something? Oh, Can we make his name a verb, please? <laughs> yeah, I'm Mike Jolitz that situation. I just Let me tell Mike you. Jolitz in my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jolitz, baby. <laughs> oh. Jesse, do you know who Mike Jolitz is? I got some pre Jolitz right now. Mike who? Mike who? Exactly. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, it's it's so okay, good. I didn't know about I him. Feel like I, I feel like I, I just strengthened somebody's argument, and I don't know how I did it. But you, <laughs> you, know, you did well. God's work. You're doing God's work, <laughs> oh. Jesse Huber. <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> I knew there was a reason oh, I booked you. Jesse, I was curious. You said you, uh, you do panels at, uh, at comic conventions, like comic cons? Uh, not comic, not like the Comic Con, like in San Diego, but like uh, there's a lot of like uh, comic book conventions all over Ohio, Michigan, and stuff like that. And like I'll go out to them because uh, I'm a member of this uh, comedy group uh, comprised of a comedian Dan Brown and Jerry Joffe. It's called Action Comedy Nerd Show. So what will happen is uh, we get invited to these uh, comic book conventions where we'll panel, we'll talk about certain things, we'll talk about an aspect of comic. Or nowadays with comic books. Uh, it's not simple with Comic Con. It's not as simple as talk, talking about comic books. Sometimes we'll talk about uh, the art of podcasting. Comic Cons wow. have now become this uh, place where it's of all nerd things, not just cool. comic books anymore. Now you got podcasters, short filmers, people want to film the next Blair Witch Project kind of people thing. People want to you know, tell Mike Jolitz what so, to do. <laughs> so, so we'll do stuff like that, and then afterwards, like two hours later, we'll be in another room where we will do our stand up comedy. And uh, let me tell you something. Probably some of the funnest audiences you'll ever have. But uh, cool. you're making the Joker laugh. You're making the Joker laugh hysterically, uh -huh. okay? And it's like, oh my God, he killed like so many people, but mm -hmm. I'm killing now. I mean, it's awesome. And Heath Ledger <laughs> and... killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> wow, opening yeah. up that wound early. Full circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like you got Spawn in the background. He's giving you the like his his he's giving, giving you the, the fist up. Like you're doing good, man. You keep it up. Yeah, he's flinging some chains in the air. He's like so excited. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a ching, ching. on his shoulder <laughs> or his fist. They're gonna find out that guy who uh, shot up that movie theater during the Batman movie was dressed not as a Joker but Mike Jolitz. Oh, That's oh, gonna be <laughs> somebody needs to go to Comic Con as Mike Jolitz. <laughs> oh. I'll be... do it. Oh. <laughs> That's the first person to ever say that. You... Mike Jolitz never even said. You just, gotta that. Have a... <laughs> you just gotta have a ceiling fan behind you. Yeah, exactly. Set. Right. That's your. That's the costume. That's it. Night. Like a beanie with a ceiling fan on. Yeah. It. I oh, was man. very disappointed because I I pumped these guys up saying that. Mike Jolts uh, paces back and forth, and he didn't pace. Yes, today. last like, time he oh, paced man. under the ceiling fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! He's nervous. That's why he's a nervous Nelly. Now he is, but he wasn't nervous oh, tonight. Man. He was really confident before he came on the show. <laughs> before he got <laughs> devastated. <laughs> yeah. With a poor, lot of Nambla jokes. Poor, poor Jesse has no clue what we're talking Jesse, about. Jesse, just... I am so lost right now. I am not going to lie to you. Dude, that's no how GPS I am. So get me back Mike on track. Jolitz. No, you're, you're more aware than Mike Jolitz was. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Listen, just when like, you guys start talking about cartoons, I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, anime. It's... Just, just later, Google uh, Mike Jolitz presents Honey, I Touched the Kids, and you'll get all the information. <laughs> 
or why I love this Daisy first, Chains. I, this is the first interview where I'm getting homework to look up somebody. <laughs> but I, honor, I will honor this homework assignment, and I will pass it. You would be the only person to ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> His Google Analytics is going to say one person and it's Jesse. <laughs> oh, sweet. Someone's checking out the site. Oh, my God. Uh, Jesse, uh, my... Did, did you like Wonder Woman? <laughs> yes, I did. I thought it was uh, a very fascinating film in uh, how they did it. It was much different from many other origin comic book stories. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we, we were seeing somebody who was you know already amazing and super powered, but they were kind of coming into their like own like being. You know what yeah, I mean, like yeah, I say, like I the that. moment she truly became Wonder Woman was when she walks out of the trenches and crosses No Man's oh, Land. That part's like, really yeah, that's amazing. It's, it's that like, part's real good. Yeah. It, it, it's a beautiful scene. It's an yeah. absolutely beautiful scene. And uh, you now Patty Jenkins, she did a very good job with this film. And uh, I'm looking forward to the sequel. And like, if they want to just give her like all the rest of the comic book movies to do, buy yeah. fine with me. Do it. Because yeah, yeah. she just set the bar for DC. Yeah, yeah, there's no other one that's any as good. Other... Yeah. Not nearly as good. And it's about yeah. time someone set the bar for DC. They <laughs> are... <laughs> I mean, they didn't even have one. No. <laughs> there was... No. Their trailers are great, the only bar, yeah. The only bar that DC's been having is the one we're drinking our misery at. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. They make... We got to make something cool. DC is the M. Night Shyamalan of trailers. They make <laughs> amazing 30 seconds. <laughs> like, oh, that movie's going to be great. And then you go to see it. Like, Man of Steel, man. Though that, that that second trailer, trailer was yeah. fucking phenomenal. I thought this would be a great that trailer movie. over again. Yeah, I yeah. would rather have watched that for two and a half fucking hours. <laughs> and, uh, I never even thought right, of that. Guys, but that I- thirty seconds was amazing. <laughs> yeah. We should make something of that quality about one hundred and eighty <laughs> times. No, that the great we score in the a, background, his dad doing the overlapping narration thing and everything. Oh. And I was like, holy shit, this looks yeah. great. Yeah. I'm gonna have to rewatch that. Tonight. You're, you're yeah. absolutely right because every trailer for a DC movie that comes out, I'm like, man, people don't think this is gonna be good, but this looks fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. And then it just the sucks. only thing yeah. I always <laughs> notice is they hate daylight in every one of the movies. <laughs> <laughs> like it's always <laughs> nighttime. <laughs> yep. And like Batman's yeah. in only one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesse, were you really in uh, Passion of the Christ's High School Musical? Oh God. <laughs> or High School oh, Play. God. Okay. All right. Let's let's talk about this. Okay. I was literally just talking about this on stage. Nice. All right. So so what happened was I went to a Catholic school, um, and uh, I was in theater, and like I to be honest with you, I didn't get the role at first. I was second string Jesus, all right? I thought they, they came Good to me at first and like, we want you to play Jesus. You're so honorable. We love you. I get the script. I see somebody else's name crossed out and then my name written over it. Like, <laughs> I'm just through it. I'm just... And why Why was that? Like syphilis or like was that guy hurt? Like why did you get picked yeah. for that? Like I'm the second I'm second string Christ. This sucks. Oh, I don't want to do this anymore. That sucks. So, so I have to do this, all right? So what happens is, uh, as Catholics, what we do is we have this thing called Stations of the Cross, and we it's where the stages of Jesus' last hours, and every it, like where he falls with the cross, carries the cross, he gets killed. And what happens is... It's a Buddy uh, Cross movie. They're going to have people... Re- yeah, this is a really depressing play. People are reading, <laughs> and I'm carrying this giant wooden cross, which I'm like, why couldn't this fucking thing be cardboard? I'm oh, holding this thing for Christ? three hours. Whoa. You were stunned, Christ. We want realism in our high school Jesus <laughs> yeah. reenactments. Yeah. <laughs> we want you to really understand. That seems really I was, Catholic. Well, yes. well, I was getting realism, and here's how I was getting realism, all right? Okay. I was getting realism because they had casted my ex-girlfriend as the torturer, <laughs> and she was oh. whipping, kicking me, and hitting me. I had bruises, all right? <laughs> That is so fucking good. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm a, trust me, people were about to see Jesus say, they were about to see Jesus slap a bitch, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like he would have had an upper hand with that this wrist. This thing is happening. So the was, the, was like the second coming of Christ, like you guys making up at the end of it, or just... <laughs> It was literally the second coming. <laughs> um, um, let's say... Um, Okay, maybe I was into it a little bit. Maybe I did came. I don't know. It, it was, I was very blinded by the pain. It there felt go. good a little bit. The pre-coming was, of Christ. You're like, listen, baby, I know what we were missing in that last relationship <laughs> we had. This really helped you find yourself. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but that is the full extent of me being Jesus. And then the boners part of the joke, which I'll, people can check out the video online, but I'll, I'll give away the, the last part of the story. 
the girl, the girl that's supposed to cover me with a cloth at the end of the show, she walks over me in an open skirt, and I look up. But keep in mind, I'm wearing sweatpants because we couldn't afford costumes. Oh, nice. And the last thing anybody wants to see is Jesus rising anywhere else. Yeah. Okay? Like, oh. no. Oh. Like, let me tell you something. Everybody was about to see Jesus walk to the front of the classroom and bone. That's, that's uh, what was up. Just tell everybody you borrowed Moses' staff. That's all. And you're just parting that red sea. Was she a redhead? I don't know. Was she a ginger? Yeah, was she a... <laughs> no, no comment. Oh, yeah. no. That girl's his wife now. Clown pussy. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mike, Mike Jolitz. <laughs> that was amazing. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, oh poor Mike Jolitz. Oh. <laughs> I can't. can't. <laughs> <That's> All right. <laughs> this uh, poor dude. You know, yeah. Yeah. Chicken ripped apart immediately. He's a good guy, too. Yeah, he's, he's a good guy for what? I don't know, fucking know. Yeah. But. For, um. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a dirty kid for being a dirty kid. You doctor. keep grabbing the same one. No, I'm trying to find another one. <laughs> yes, I will fuck a senior citizen on my chores. <laughs> yes, I touch my those kids. Is, I touch their hearts. Most I got all the kid touching ones. I, can <laughs> That's oh. I can't go 300 yards within a public school, Mike Jones. Oh my god. What are you, Mike? <laughs> Don't tell my wife uh, you saw me on Dateline, the Mike Jolis story. Bathing with the elderly, Mike Jolis interview. <laughs> <laughs> MJ's magical cum swap bukkake show. <laughs> Say MJ's? Yeah. I said MJ's. Yeah. <laughs> this is reading the card. Oh. Playgrounds and wine coolers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Did you intern rate these? <laughs> yes, yes, nice job, nice job. Yeah, sleepy. We miss him. Yeah. He probably won't be back because Slim's probably firing him right after this episode. <laughs> Jesse, we have to wrap this up, but where can everybody sent him find a text you? Message. Yes. <laughs> Jesse. Um, what? We have to wrap this up, dude, but where can everybody find you? Uh, you can find me at www.comicjessieheber.com. That's www.comicjustyheber.com. You'll find show dates, videos, everything. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Just type in Comic Justy Heber, and there I am. Awesome, brother. Thank you. Yeah, you have a good one. All right, guys? You too, bro. Yeah, all right, take, take care. care. All right. Play that Sorry. out.